Hello everybody and welcome to AP Chemistry. My name is Emily and I'm going to be teaching you this course. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I graduated from Brown University in 2009, so I'm fresh out of college. And uh, this fall I'm going to be starting medical school at Johns Hopkins in Baltimore. So I learned a lot of chemistry when I was studying for my medical exam, so I'm a bit of an expert, so hopefully I can help explain some of the difficult concepts to you. So, soon you will be an expert in many of the different topics of AP Chemistry. In section one, we're going to be talking about structure of matter. So first we're going to be talking about the structure of the atom. You and me and plants and animals, we're made of these things called atoms, but we need to understand how they look, what they're made of, how they react, and, and things like that. Next, we're going to talk about the periodic table, which I'm sure you've seen before. And we're going to see how we can measure the trends in the periodic table to predict how different elements will behave in a chemical setting. Uh, next, we'll do nuclear chemistry, where we'll talk about the nucleus of atoms, of protons and neutrons and beta particles and radiation and all of this crazy stuff. We're going to learn how to work with uh, reactions, nuclear reactions. Chemical bonding. We're going to do ionic compounds. That's uh, when you have uh, electrons that are lost and gained. Covalent compounds, when you have electrons that are shared. And stoichiometry. So when we make these reactions, whether they're ionic or covalent, we need to keep track of how many molecules you started with, how many you ended with, and how they recombined. So stoichiometry is how we're going to keep track of all of that with numbers. It's a lot of math. States of matter. We're going to see with gases liquids and solids, and solutions, which is when we dissolve things in water, usually, or another liquid. Physical chemistry. We're going to be talking about chemical equilibrium, so reactions. When do they go? When do they stop? When are they at equilibrium? We'll be able to measure this by uh, doing experiments, actually, and looking at the results of those experiments. Kinetics. How fast does the reaction go? Is it slow? Is it predictable? Is it not predictable? and uh, thermodynamics when we talk about heat and energy. Lastly, we're going to do oxidation reduction in electrochemistry and acids and bases. And these are special kinds of reactions where electrons are gained and lost and they're moving around all over the place. And we're going to learn uh, about these types of reactions. Then at the end, we're going to do a little bit of organic chemistry. It's not the main focus of AP chemistry, but it's important that you know the types of chemistry that happen in plants and animals and humans. And lastly, we're going to do experimental chemistry, which is just basically experiments where we apply everything that we've learned so far. That should be a funner, a more fun uh, chapter. So chapter one, atomic structure. We're going to start with the atomic theory, which was developed by John Dalton, who was born in 1766 and died in 1844. So he's a pretty old guy. And his theory states, that all matter is composed of tiny, indivisible particles called atoms that cannot be created or destroyed. Here we have the creation of atom. So basically what this is telling us is that what we have, we're stuck with. All of the atoms in the universe, they're there and they're here to stay. We can't create them out of nothing and we can't destroy them either. Next, each element has atoms that are identical to each other in all of their properties, and these properties are different from the properties of other atoms. So when you have an element, it's very unique. All gold atoms are the same, and they behave the same. All silver atoms are the same, and they behave the same. And gold and silver atoms are very